no no balance. Here is the guy. In description, it doesn't say nothing about the inside lithium rechargeable battery, the capacity, I mean, because it's picking up my studio lights. Let's see this. Yes. It's blinking with red light. I forgot to tell you that I ordered the red one. And the super small lithium battery 3.7 volts it says 50 milliampers 0.185 watt hours all right can you see on the multimeter now my multimeter is set on measuring milliampers i'm gonna measure the solar panel 20 milliampers at full light. Is it working? Still not. Oh, this. And yes, it's working like a charm. Beautiful and small fake alarm. Solar charge it. It's small battery, but will do the job. No balance. Never mind. Here it is the circuit diagram and how to connect the trigger cycle delay on off relay module. And everything right now is wired and connected. I have a small light bulb and I have a trigger. This is a push switch press the button it will count to six and then turn it off and that will be only one cycle four five six beautiful one two two seconds delay and six seconds on all right <coughs> sorry And now this program will run the, the bulb all the time without pressing the trigger module. Beautiful. And let's see the program number four, what, what it does. And you can reset it, the timer. It will run to 4 seconds and wait another trigger. Beautiful. And take a look. 1, 2, 2 seconds on, 2 seconds off. And it will run forever. No bubbles. Darn it. is the main unit with the relay I think the remote control that looks like a remote control for cars 12 volt battery inside this thing oh what already have battery inside that's nice two of them are DC input from the left side and from the right side is DC output and one more time to Mention if you put 12 volts input, the output will be 12 volts. I can see the green LED that will indicate that the, the state of the relay. And on the right terminals we have positive and negative output that you can connect the, the load. The lights it stays on and you can turn it off. This is the same for the OFF button 
and for the on button it's it's used for door locks maybe you hold it it's on if you release it it's off and now it's programmed for which one it's for toggle mode when you when you press it turning on turning off and now the off switch is momentary but the on when you hold it you turn it on and this way you can turn it off look beautiful this thing will be useful for my garden or while you holding it will work release don't work such a useful device for three US dollars from Aliexpress right now maybe in my studio I am 20 meters away from the the LEDs turning on and yes there it's working Woo. it's a small printed circuit board PCB board with couple of electronic components and you can buy it for one dollar from Aliexpress and what is it? the model is XL10AL single bone button B stable switch module oh it's already open so tiny Okay, very small. Let's measure that. It's 22 millimeters by 13 millimeters. And I found that a sheet on online. And take a look what it says. It says that it's working with drain source voltage 30 volts, gate source voltage 20 volts, and drain current continuous at 25 degrees 75 amperes. On the board there are signs where is voltage in from the left side and ground and on the right side we have voltage out and ground and with that push button we're gonna turn on the load look how simple it is turning off this light bulb is pulling on my power supply 500 milliampers I need more more amperes on my bigger power supply that can give 5 amperes I connect the alligator clips on voltage in and ground and on output I connect the heating wire turning on take a look 5 amperes and it's getting red Woo! turning off turning on and I turn off the studio light so you can see the heating wire is getting all red turning off so tiny module but very powerful okay okay from Aliexpress for six US dollars you can get this gadget I see bubbles yes oh, oh. together with cables for powering the, the module for measuring current cable and what's this? it's for temperature it also has a temperature Ooh. the temperature sensor goes right here I think we have the current measurement 
cable going right here and this is for voltage and for voltage measurement and powering the module okay you can miss it okay powering in three two one what beautiful color screen with blue yellow white green we have the temperature measuring in the sensor i'm gonna hold yes it's rising on the right corner we have the amperes we have the time and ampere hours this thing is menu one push button you can choose ampere hours or watt hours this is my power supply giving 8.1 volt reading on the multifunctional tester 8.1 volt and on the multimeter 8.1 volt i'm gonna blind you with the light and you can see on the power supply is pulling 5.1 ampere and also right here it shows 5.1 ampere also you can read the watts 56 watts at 12 volts this is multifunctional tester 200 volts 10 amperes for around 6 US dollars all right that was all for today video review of this product if you like it please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya tomorrow with new video every day